surrealism. The principles, ideals, or practice of producing fantastic or incongruous imagery or effects in art, literature, film, or theater by means of unnatural or irrational juxtaposition and combinations. There are a lot of words there, and we will unpack all of this in a moment. But first, I'm going to talk about the time and context of the 1920s in Europe, which will tell us why this Western form of art is considered so important. The late 19th and early 20th centuries in Europe were full of radical ideas and innovations. Charles Darwin was unlocking the secrets of evolution, changing the popular understanding of nature. Albert Einstein was bringing us new insights about physics, space, and matter. Karl Marx was critiquing industry and capitalism, and political and social revolutions inspired by his ideas were sparking all over the world. Perhaps most importantly to the Surrealists, Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung's contributions to psychology brought the ideas of subconscious to, the pop- to popular attention. What do I mean by subconscious? The subconscious is the mental activities just below the line of consciousness. The subconscious is the part of the mind that is associated with sudden or unexpected reactions. It's associated with emotions, and it holds memories that might not be on your conscious or active mind. Some scientists believe that the dreams you have at night are a reflection of your subconscious mind. Surrealist artists were committed to studying ideas about the subconscious. To investigate this, many of the artists had a preoccupation with and sought to make visual representations of dreams. One way the Surrealists did this was by using what is called juxtaposition. According to Webster Dictionary, juxtaposition is the act or an instance of placing two or more things side by side often to compare and contrast or to create an interesting effect. The Surrealists used juxtaposition to make things look as absurd as they may appear in dreams. Like, maybe I'm wearing a tricorner hat while holding a statue of a mermaid, standing in front of a painting of um, a magic eight ball. Artists like Max Ernst, Leonore Carrington, and Giorgio de Chirico represented the stories of specific dreams using juxtaposition. Take a moment to pause the video to ponder how this painting titled The Double Secret by the artist René Magritte might depict what kinds of thoughts are happening inside the subconscious. What kind of images are juxtaposed in this Max Ernst painting? And how about this painting Self-Portrait by Leonore Carrington? In what ways could this painting depict what is happening in the subconscious mind? The Spanish artist Salvador Dali is perhaps the most well-known of Surrealist artists. This painting, The Persistence of Memory, is an iconic example of Surrealist painting. The melting clocks and ants crawling on the golden stopwatch are symbols that can be interpreted by the viewer. They are juxtaposed with a landscape which itself becomes a symbol. Surrealists also wrote extensively. The writer, André Breton, brought all of the Surrealist artists together to form an official group. Breton wrote what was called the Surrealist Manifesto, a revolutionary list of guiding principles that define the collective beliefs of the group. The painter Max Ernst wrote that every normal human being, and not merely the artist, has an inexhaustible store of buried images in their subconscious. It is merely a matter of courage or liberating procedures, of voyages into the unconscious, to bring pure and unadulterated found objects to light. The Surrealists were friends and would often make work and discuss artistic ideas together. They thought that by playing games that ended with a drawing or a piece of writing, that they would be more likely to access ideas that were in their subconscious minds. One poet from the Surrealist group, Tristan Zara, would use what is called the cut-up technique to write poems. Here is the procedure. Take a newspaper or magazine, cut up some words or phrases. I chose 20 pieces total, some words, some phrases. Put them in a hat. 
Pick a number of phrases and make a poem out of them. Then paste the phrases down. And there you go, you got a poem. The Surrealists would also play games together. One game was called Exquisite Corpse. Here's how you play the game. Take a normal piece of paper. Fold the paper into three parts. The person who starts will draw the head in the top third of the paper and just put a little indication of where it will start in the second third. Next, fold the paper so that the head part is hidden and pass the paper to the other game player. That person draws the middle or torso area of the corpse and brings their drawing down just a little bit into the last third of the paper. Fold the paper again, hiding all of the previous artist's drawings. The third artist will draw the bottom of the drawing, or the feet. Then you unfold and you have found a strange figure. Thanks for watching the video. If you are in my class, click in the links in the description for a quiz on this video, surrealist art making activities, and vocabulary words related to surrealism.